Welcome back to another video everyone. I'm sweating like crazy. I don't even know how hot it is today, but it's I don't even know what day it is. I think June 29th. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I had a quiz last night, June 28th. June 29th, Tuesday. I'm doing my deadlifts. Just did 455. I don't know how hot it is, but I'm sweating like crazy and I'm just like long story. Long story. But I'm drinking like um I think 12 ounce water bottles like you know those normal size ones because my gallon is in the kitchen the long story is the kitchen's being remodeled my room is being remodeled with tiles so i don't even have a room so like i mentioned i forgot the triple on squats but we're not doing that for deadlifts we're gonna remember i'm gonna do top single triple and two by two so that's five total sets no i'm stupid four total sets <laughs> i can't even count so top single triple two by two um probably just gonna keep the weight the same for the two by two 470 last week five by one Probably just do the same thing. Uh, well, gotta do a little more. Probably 473, like barely anything. Or 475, two by two. And um, yeah, that's all I really gotta say. Um, let's get to it. Okay, so I didn't really mention on my Instagram story, I posted that I cut my thumb. It's healing. It's Thursday night, so it's almost five days. It's Tuesday. Um, it was like 8 p.m., so it's pretty much five days already because it's like four. Um, I was kind of worried about it opening back up with these heavy deadlifts. You know, just the pressure and it doesn't feel good. It's fine. The first 24 hours, even a little more, like 24 to 40 ish hours, any little movement just hurt on top of the cut and under the cut. Not on the actual cut, but you know, it was due to the cut. <laughs> And it's bad. I mean, I was saying I'm deadlifting heavy on Tuesday. That's why I didn't do SBD yesterday. But I said I wasn't going to anyway. So the, that wasn't a problem. The fight in. it was really easy. 45 was hard because I had my so stupid. I said this before and I keep doing it. Basketball shorts. If you're going to wear them, no big deal. I mean, first of all, don't wear them long like me, like to your knees where I'm higher, like short basketball shorts because it's more ideal. Meet day, you're not going to have long my basketball shorts on but don't tie them tight that feels like another belt and it doesn't feel good it's like uh it limits me it's handicapping i don't know if that's a word but so i, I loosened it for this one 510 and it was easy just my grip so i didn't lock out that's three reds in my opinion but it was easy though um hopefully meet day the grip's better because i don't know this bar is really sharp and i put enough chalk i brushed it maybe i'm not meant for brushing bars like maybe i need the extra chalk but i don't know about that um I'm sure meat day won't be a problem. It never is. Grip was a problem. One meat, really bad. Second meat. This last one kind of too, but I still got it. Um, it was kind of slipping on both hands. But I think it's just kind of my cut. You know, mentally, I just don't want it to open. So it's no big deal. It was honestly easy. Um, I'm going to do the triple now. Uh, we're like, I was told to go buy Little Caesars for the workers working on the kitchen. They're like, the kitchen's tore apart. They're putting a new kitchen in there. So I may rest and do that. I'm going to order it on the app. And that's irrelevant. But that's going to be my rest. And then we're going to get some pizza. Give them pizza and Coke. And um, I'll continue. I haven't ate yet. I just had two rains. The gummy bear flavor. You know, the gummy bear one. Um, it's like green and like yellowish. Um, it's good. I drank two. And I felt I was high off of caffeine. Because one does nothing to me. One bang, one rain, one scoop does nothing. But two did a lot. And then I got some hot Cheetos and I ate a little bit, very little. So I'm running off of carbs and two rains and I feel amazing. I just do good on empty stomachs. It's not empty because I had hot Cheetos, but for the most part, it's pretty damn empty. When I eat a lot, I don't do good. So triples next. 490. 490, let's do it. So I shook like crazy on the first rep. It was kind of hard. <laughs> Second one was harder. Usually I'm better at the next one. Of course I took long. I kind of got up a little bit, let go of my grip, did it again. Grip was slipping like crazy on both and I don't want my cut to open again. So I'm using excuses, I'm being a weenie. I know to me, no excuses are valid, but that's a little valid just cause I don't want my cut to reopen. And my grip, I mean, if, you, if your grip's slipping, your grip's slipping. Um, I'll probably just do one more to make it three. It won't be a triple though, but. It'll be like a cluster set. <laughs> Let's see how hard it is. 
and the excuses are not valid they're just you know grip and cut not valid not valid i am being a weenie that's for sure So that one was okay, but my grip just <laughs> doesn't want to work today. Um, kind of opened uh, callus, calluses on this side. It wanted, that one had been open from, I think, meat day, yeah, 523, the deadlift, or all those deadlifts, 545, 507, 523 meat day. Um, honestly, this isn't really a matter of strength, just my grip. It's not an excuse. You call it what you want. I'm calling it an excuse, and it's not valid, but whatever it is, if grip is a factor, this close to meat day, this is just my personal opinion, it's going to be a factor on meat day. I know from experience, that's me, maybe everyone's different, but I've seen Jamal Browner have grip problems on meat day, and he's way stronger. I know he does hook grip, but he's had problems, even with hook grip, that's the um, superior grip, <laughs> hook grip versus over under. I've seen him have grip problems, I've seen Larry Wills have grip problems, I've seen Russell have slight, grip, uh, Russell Ori have slight grip problems at his mock meet. If, it, if you're having grip problems in that time, it's going to stay, in my opinion. So I'm going to have grip problems on meat day. Mark my words. I promise you I will. Will I miss a lift or get it? That we don't know until meat day. But, like, honestly, it's not an excuse. It's just if your grip is slipping, like, I don't know what to tell you. Just chalk up like crazy and brush the bar like crazy. That helps. But my grip still slipped this last meet. I'm lucky I got one red. Um, I think it was a good lift, but that was the right call, that red. That Karen, I was just kind of talking bad about her. But that was the right call because it was slipping. And I think my knees, my knees are soft in general when I deadlift. So, yeah, this sucks. Second me, I had grip problems and you, it showed big time. I think these grip problems aren't that bad, though. I think it's enough to withhold meat day with rest because I like to rest before meat. Everyone does. But this time I'm going to rest less. I'm going to rest like three days. I usually do like four or five. So three is not that much of a difference. I'm going to go pretty heavy next to meat day. Man, I'm sweating like crazy. I got two by two left with 473, not 470, 473. And I'm done. Okay, I got the pizza. It's been 20 minutes, long time. Uh, but first things first, I'm gonna finish the second set. I'm gonna do good mornings, but I'm, we're not, we're, we're not, no one cares about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. First things first, I'm Bruce Willis. <laughs> Stupid meme. If you understand that, then you're old. I don't think a 20 year old will get that. All right, yeah, I got my pizza sauce all over me. Now I can enjoy the pizza after the workout. Started fasting, might as well finish. I mean, I did have some hot cheetos, but you know, pretty empty stomach, so I'm gonna finish like that. I noticed some things. 485, the single, last warm up, I was out in front. I noticed when my deadlift goes bad and when grip's already a factor, I noticed if I lean forward, my grip will struggle more because it makes the rep longer, more of like I say, C deadlift, like a U, like a longer, the bar should be in a straight line. If you lean forward, it won't be in a straight line. It will momentarily, the bar path will be disrupted. So I noticed 45 that happened. And I think on my triple, it happened too. The four, well, my cluster set triple, the two and the one. Either my hips shoot up too soon, which is bad, or I'm out in front, or both. And that leads to grip, grip problems because 473, the first set of the two by two was easy because I really leaned back, pulled the slack, sat back like a deadlift jack. And I went straight up, no grip problem, straight line. It was a beautiful set. Second set, probably suck, I haven't looked at it. Alright, that's it for the video. I got my pizza, I'm gonna do good mornings. Nobody cares about that. Um, this was a good day. Grip sucks, but what can you do about that? Very few fixes for that. I know what you're thinking, farmer's walks. That does not work in my opinion. A farmer's walk will not lead to a 600, 700 pound deadlift because by functionality and context, you have to be doing 300 pound farmer walk each hand if you really want to like mimic it. 
that's like saying goblet squats will lead to a bigger squat because what are you gonna be like goblet squatting a 200 pound dumbbell it just to me it doesn't work the only way to get better at grip strength is like holding a deadlift longer or axle bar deadlifts holds something like that but farmer's walks eh -eh. in my opinion does not work like it works but how far can you carry 600 pounds on a farmer's walk and you don't deadlift with your hands to the side you deadlift with them in front of you so that's my disclaimer that's the video thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe see you next time